How's it going everyone? This is Mark with At Tech. In this video, we're gonna be checking out some of the features on the Pixel 3 that you may not even know about. These are things that Google may not advertise or really talk about at all. These are things I found through my testing and things you may want to try out on your own. They're all very cool and not all of them apply to the Pixel 3. A lot of them also work on the Pixel 2, so keep that in mind. But first, we'll go ahead and get started with the Now Playing feature. So if you open up settings, we can go ahead and search for now playing. Clicking on that will give you a couple of options for this feature, but what it basically does is it listens to the music around you and it will display that song title on your lock screen. It even saves that for viewing later on. And it's just like Shazam, but it's always on, which is actually very useful. If we take a look at my now playing history, you can see that there is a lot of songs that have picked up and it's really cool because you can add this to your home screen so you can check it out anytime. And what's even better is you can tap on the song and you can choose where to play it. So you don't have to search for it, you just tap on the song and it will take you right to that on any streaming service that you want. Next up we have a whole page in the settings app dedicated to this one thing. And this is gestures. There is a ton of different things you can do with gestures on the Pixel 2 and Pixel 3. Some of them were already on my list, but I decided why not show you the entire list and everything that you can do. There's some pretty neat things you can do on here, but I wanna highlight just a couple of them. First off, you can swipe down on the fingerprint sensor to view your notifications, which is pretty helpful. But another one that I really wanna show you is the ability to flip the camera. So if we open up the camera app and you shake your phone back and forth, it will switch between the front camera and the back camera. Not the most useful since you can just press the button, but it is pretty cool that you have that feature. Another one that I use quite often is the Active Edge. You can change the sensitivity of it by squeezing the phone, and when you do squeeze the phone, it will activate Google Assistant. I find this really useful for activating Google Assistant when the phone is locked and the screen is off. I just squeeze my phone, tell it to open the garage door, and it works really nice. Something that I only recently found out through a notification from the phone was Smart Lock. This is a whole suite of Smart Lock features that disables your passcode uh, when you're doing certain things. So the two I want to show you is on-body detection and trusted places. So with on-body detection, when you are in motion and it recognizes that it's on you, you don't have to enter in your password, which is pretty nice. The coolest thing I found was trusted places. So you can add trusted places and when you're in that location, like your home, it will disable the passcode since you're kind of in a safe place. It's actually pretty nice. So at Google I.O. 2018, they showed off Google Duplex. So Google Assistant can make reservations for you. And this only recently came out a couple of months ago to most states. So it's actually a pretty cool thing. It's on most Google Assistant devices, including the iPhone, but it's also here on the Pixel. Not really a hidden feature, but just something very cool that you should show. And the final feature I have for you is call screening. This is probably one of my favorite things. And you just press the screen call button when someone starts calling you and Google Assistant will take over from there. It'll tell the person who's calling you what's going on and they can say what they want. Now, assuming they don't hang up and think it's a voicemail, you can respond to them with these buttons. You can't actually type in custom messages, which would be nice, but you can get a little bit more information about why they're calling. You can decide if it's worth picking up or not. And there's other actions as well to hang up the call and say something to finish it off. So it's a very neat feature, something I like a lot. So here you go. Those are some of the hidden features that you may not know about on the Pixel 3. These are very cool. Google has done a great job with some of the neat little features you can do on their devices. I really like them a lot. If you have any other features that I didn't cover, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave it a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Hat Tech, and I will see you in the next one.